Hi folks, it's good to be with you. I just want to talk about manuscripts and has the Word of God been preserved through the manuscripts? You can see, we see this uh, flowing avalanche of water here just flowing in. When the early church uh, started there was an avalanche of the power of God and God was moving in the church all, all in the ancient world in a very powerful way. And because of that the early church began to write copies. Now, if you read the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, the first four verses, Paul, uh, Luke says he wrote eyewit from eyewitnesses. So the Gospels were precious because they were written from eyewitness perspective. And they were treasured. And right up to the life of John, the Apostle John, who, who died around about AD 90, the church was already there supervising the copying of these texts. Now, these texts became into part of families. We have the Alexandrian family, uh, we have uh, the Antioch family, we have these various families of manuscripts. Now, one of the families of the manuscripts that was accurate was the Byzantian. The Byzantians uh, copied in a more accurate way. And the King James comes from the Byzantine line. So you can be assured that the text that you have today is accurate if you come from the King James line. Now, the Alexandrian side was not very good and came from a Gnostic line. But because we have so many manuscripts and because uh, copyists use all of the manuscripts, even the corrupt uh, Alexandrian can be offset by all the good manuscripts. But the point is this is that in all the manuscripts we have the vast majority come from the Byzantine line for over 5,000 and what that means is we have the Word of God in those manuscripts now when we put them together in a Bible we're not perfect when we make an English translation that's not a per perfect but what we can say is it is the Word of God because it comes from all the manuscripts where the Word of God is there. Now that's a more honest line than the, the Muslims. The Muslims say that their word of God has been passed on, has not changed. That's a complete lie. That's the greatest lie that's ever been told. Because when you look at the early manuscripts of Islam, the top copy, the Sana manuscript, we only we don't have all the verses there. There's there's hundreds of verses that are missing from these ancient Quranic manuscripts. So they haven't preserved them perfectly. Secondly, they say oral tradition has preserved the Quran. But if you look at the life of Muhammad, and I've shown this many times, he couldn't even remember the Quran. So this idea that the Quran has been passed on perfectly is a complete lie. And thirdly, if you look at the tradition where Uthman burnt the text, you can see that there's been editing. There's been verses that have been lost. What is called the stoning verse has been lost. There, there have been verses that have been taken out, verses that have been put in that shouldn't be in. These are from the ancient traditions of this Islamic tradition that the Muslims don't tell you. And then, fourthly, you've got this political issue where the politics have been involved of editing the Quran as well. You had Ali and others who were involved, Abu Bakr, involved in the editing of the Quran. So there was political sh shenanigans going on concerning the editing of the Quran. But then the Muslims say, we'll just look at this beautiful water, the Muslims say that if you look today the, the Quran has been preserved. People can pronounce it in China, in Spain, accurately. Now this is just nonsense because if you look at the Quran today, there are actually a number of Qurans. There's the Hafs Quran, the Dori Quran, the Wash Quran, there are many Qurans. And these Qurans have textual variants, so this argument that if people were pressed in China and say Spain to pronounce the Quran it would be accurate in in China and in Spain is just nonsense it's a lie it's a total lie because the Quran has there are many Qurans there's the Dori Quran the Sana the Sana Quran uh, sorry the Dori Quran the Wash Quran the Hash Quran and many other Qurans we we have an honest position as Christians we're honest we're honest about our text we're honest about textual criticism there was a guy called Tabari, 
an ancient uh, middle-aged scholar, Muslim scholar, and he noticed there were textual, textual variants. There were, there were Quranic mistakes in the text. He noticed that, but he never dealt with it. And the Muslims have never dealt with textual, textual criticism. They hide from it, and they, they just step aside from it. The dishonest, the Islamic world is dishonest. They've lied to you, and they're lying to you right now. So my friends, please listen. The Bible has not changed. It has been preserved in the thousands of manuscripts that we have. And we can get the word of God from those manuscripts. The Muslims have doctored their text. They have edited their text. They have changed their text. They have lost their text. The text that they have today is not the Quran of right at the beginning. It's a bogus lie. It's the biggest lie that you've ever heard. It's the grand lie of Islam. That's what it is, the grand lie of Islam. They are lying to you. If they are not lying, why will they not debate me? Why will they not debate us on this topic? Is it because they're lying to you? Okay.